What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? It's Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. All right, guys, I did this video a while back. I call it the Holy Grail of Mars Anomalies. Um, and the reason why I called it, because I found some fascinating stuff in there um, that definitely look like intelligently made objects, and I wanted to convey that to the people. The problem is I took a beat on the video, and the reason why I did is I think a couple reasons. One... First of all, I was using, I think, uh, I think it was GIMP 2.8 at the time to enhance the photos. But not only that, I had a real crappy captioning software, which really, uh, basically the video was degraded. It was really, yeah, it, was, it wasn't, see, what I looked, <laughs> what I was looking at on the video or on the screen when I was enhancing this picture and then recorded it, it was totally different. I mean, it was not what I wanted to convey, but it's what I had at the time. Anyway, so we're going to go back to it. I'm going to show you right now which is pretty cool. Um, what it is is an endurance crater. Um, and this is from Pier 06701. And this is from the Opportunity, as you can see right here. And funny thing is, it's got actually captioning at the bottom. How many? When's the last time you've seen a, a caption at the bottom of any video? Or of, I keep saying video, but uh, the photo. Um, this 360-degree view of the terrain surrounding NASA's Mars Exploration Rover Opportunity was taken on the rover's 171st Sol on Mars, July 17, 2004. It was assembled from images taken from the rover's navigational camera to position uh, referred to as Site-33. Opportunity had uh, driven 11 meters, or 36 feet, into Endurance Crater. The view is a cylindrical projection with geometrical scene correction. So basically what they're saying is you're not going to see, see how like this is kind of bulged right here in the middle of the photo? It's not. It's actually, this keeps going around and around. You can see that this round piece, well, it would be more over here. In other words, it would be completely round. Here's another picture of it. Here's your uh, just one of the solar panels of the uh, opportunity. Now, just to give you guys a comparison, it doesn't look very big when you look at this thing. It looks rather small, right? Well, it is actually 430 feet across. Now, just to give you an idea of the size of this thing, I believe it's uh, comes down to about 125 feet taller or wider uh, than the Statue of Liberty is. Uh, the Statue of Liberty is tall, so Statue of Liberty being 305 feet tall, this is 430 feet across. So it's pretty large. And if you ever been to New York and stood on the, the ground and looked up at the top to the torch of the Statue of Liberty, psh, it's big. Uh, so it just gives you an idea. This doesn't look that big when you look at it, but. Just wanted to give you a little comparison there. Okay, let's jump into this. And I want to show you, this is the original, of course. Um, let me just jump back this real quick. I want to show you guys. I've got this here, and I want to show you what I've got. What I'm doing is this area right here. And I'm going to show you the things in question, because what I believe they are, and it could be my pareidolia, or... Because a lot of people like to dismiss this and say it's pareidolia, or it's actually things that are here. Now, like I said, I've said this before in my videos. People are okay with well, it could be mechanical parts. Um, you know, meaning people when they see other videos, whether it's my videos or somebody else's, they go, well, I'm seeing what looks like little beings, maybe mechanical parts, maybe electronics, whatever it may be. But when it comes to other things that could be uh, technologically advanced items, they write it off. Why is that? It shouldn't be. Um, I think they might have been frozen uh, in time. Uh, some people were rounding it off to, I think there was an, uh, somebody had seen there was an explosion in 1941 on Mars. They were looking through a telescope here on Earth and seen an explosion. Um, it might have been 70 years ago. And they're where we're at right now. So, in other words, picture us another 70 years from now. What would we look like? What kind of structures, vehicles, whatever we have, what will they look like? Well, there you go. So, anyway... I'm looking at this here, so I'm not doing a thing that is right here. Here in the back doesn't look like much. This right here, this right here, it looks like it's buried. Well, at least it looks like it's buried. I think it's manipulation, obfuscation. This thing right here in the ground. Now, so what I do is I just took a screenshot of this particular area. Okay, so let's jump out of that. And here you go. All right. This... <laughs> I'm going to just show you. I'm going to smooth this thing out just real quick so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay. To me, I'm going to just circle these things. Here. Here. But there's a lot more than what I'm circling. I'm just going to circle these main ones that can be seen pretty easy. Uh, up here. And especially here. These, to me, are two things. They're either machines or they're vehicles. 
they look like whatever happened, it looks like they got washed down the side of this crater. I'm not saying that's what they are. They appear to be. Now, what I'm going to show you, the reason why I'm, I'm saying that, I'm going to go over these real quick so you guys will get an idea. Um, let's go ahead and bring that down just a hair bit. Okay. Do this. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you these things here. This looks like it's, it's well, not that, but let's go ahead and do this. Um, yeah, we can do it, Docker. This is fine. Right here. It's doing this. Looks like it's going down, going like this. This piece, I believe, is buried. I don't think it's a flat rock. Could it be? Sure. Um, check this out. Looks like this side opening. Perfect shape. Okay, I don't, I'm not sure where this thing ends. Although it does, it does look like it has a piece that does this and goes like this. But I can't make out the rest of it. What it is, no idea. Check this out. And you can see what looks like some weird rounded top to something else. This here actually goes across. And you see the shape. See how it's like symmetrical. You can just see, look at, look at this. Up, over, does the same thing on this side. This does this. This comes down, goes across. Something right here, like a little corner of a something or an opening. There's one, two bright things right there. And I'm, I'm not even sure what these things are. If you look here, there's a lot of little details in this right here. See that? Very faded, but they're there. Check this out. Something looks like a teardrop thing with a little black circle right there. Um, okay. When you look at this, this to me, and I could be wrong, but this to me looks like some kind of weird Jeep. Now, when I say that, it looks like, you can see this might be the, I'm not sure whether this, to make out of this, if this is the front end, looks like a kind of weird bumper type thing on it. Looks like it has a wheel. Of course, this thing looks like it's banged up, to be honest with you. Now, I'm going to show you this a whole lot better, so don't go, oh, I'm really not seeing it. Wait, because I'm going to show you this a little bit clearer, and it, you may change your mind. It looks like there's something right here and something right there going back. Almost like, almost like this weird doom buggy kind of thing, but you can see right here, Looks like the wheel, but check this out. You can see something right here. It's actually got a round, a half round radius to it. See that? Very faint. It's white going like this. Now, whatever this thing is, I don't know. That's what it looks like. Now, check this out. There's something way up at the top here. It appears to be doing this. And I'm gonna, again, I'm going to bring this out a little bit better. Going like this, and then it stops, and you can't tell where it's going. But you can see what looks like something does this, this, and something here. I don't know what that is obstructing, but whatever this is does this. And you can see it just white at the top and then it disappears. Something else is here. I don't know what that is. It might be just manipulation. But you can see some, you know, just weird things. The best way to do this, guys, is just keep this thing zoomed out, meaning like this. Go with like at 100%. This is at 66. Let's go ahead and just bring it in about 100%, just for... Craps and giggles here. That's approximately 100. It's 101 to be exact. Um, and just take a magnifying glass. Try not to use the uh, the magnifier in your uh, OS because or your operating system because here's the thing. It's just, it's just like zooming in. If I just zoomed into this picture. So try to use a regular magnifying glass. Tell me what you guys come up with because I'd be curious. Now, check this out. This one to me t is, is like the... Yeah, it's like the... The actual item. Um, right here, there's a reason why I did this and went to the original is for simply for this reason. Watch this. You can see what does this comes down. And you'll see this a lot better because I already showed you the picture somewhat. Okay. You can see a fine line inside this right here. And you're going to see it a little bit better. You can see what looks like right here. And then it's in this, they've got a bunch of this mess over here. But you can see something doing like that there. Now, see it? You can see it a lot better now. You can see this actual outline of this piece here. Now, let's go ahead and jump into this. You can see this a whole lot better now when you enhance it. There's something laying right here. There's something in this background I, was, I told you right here. And you can see the way it's shaped. To me, these things are in rocks. It's three-quarters of the way buried. 
And it's there's something laying right on the side of this. I don't know what the hell this is, or it's three quarters in the ground. That's what it looks like to me. Let me back out, go over to this, what, what I said would look like a little Jeep of some sort, right here. Okay? This right here. And even this whole mess right here. But this, to me, is something a lot more bizarre. It's not a rock. I think we'll all agree. I don't, you know, like I said, I respect anybody's decision. If they think, oh, well, I'm not seeing what you think are cars or vehicles of some sort. Because they could be, listen, these things could be Martian tubs for all I care or showers. I could give a crap less. That's what they look like to me as far as some kind of transportation devices. When I say cars, first thing people say is, oh, you seen a Corvette on uh, <laughs> on Mars. And that's hilarious because that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying they look like vehicles based on what we see here on Earth. However, they could be anything. Uh, but again, what we can all agree on is they're not, they're not actual rocks. Now you see what I just did here in this middle section. When you enhance that, it looks like a whole lot of mechanical things. Let me show you that right now. These things clearly, in fact, I'm looking at this thing now and it just puzzled the hell out of me. Huh? Wow. That is just bizarre. Check this thing out. I just looked at, of course, it might be, again, my mind playing games with me here, but check that out. It's missing over here. Coming down. Goes across. And then, it's, of course, it's all mixed up in this crap here. But what the hell is that, guys? It almost looked like another car. Now, you can see all these weird... And I don't really care whether you think it is or not. I'm, I'm just, you know, just taking a stab at it here, of course. And again, this is all... <laughs> it's nothing but, you know... It's conjecture. It's just, it's, it's just guesses here. But, judging by what I'm seeing here, it almost looks like if I can... The best way to explain it is, like I said, there was... Hell, it could have been anything. It could have been a busy roadway or something like that, and then some catastrophe happened, and this is where these things ended up. I don't know. They look like machines to me or some kind of cars. Now, check these out. Here's the first one. Now, I'm going to go zoom in big time for you people who have the smaller phones as well as the tablets. Now, to me, it's pixelated on my screen. And anybody on a PC is going to say the same. But as far as phones, they seem to be a little bit better. So, that's the one. Okay. I want to go ahead and zoom out just a little bit so we can get a better idea. For the people who are not on phones. This one right here. Now, to me, I don't know, man. These are not rocks. They're definitely not rocks, 110%. I think everybody will agree with that. Um, there you go. This is the one I was talking about earlier, which looked like this weird... It's still at the top here. You can see way at the top right here. That other one going like this here, coming down. I don't know, but there's something also right here. Also doing the same thing. It's got this weird front to it. And you can see where it looks like it goes up. Again, it looks like it has these separations. One here. I, I don't know. See how something's actually round in the side of this? Inside of this? Check that out. That is just too perfect to be something that, you know, that's just a simple rock. Check that out. You can see that for yourself. Okay. Now let's go to the main one. I think is the main one right here. And to me, I'm going to throw some color in it as well. Let's do this. Well, let's do this first. And you can see this pretty darn clear. Now, like I said, I don't care if these people call them fish bowls. I really don't care. What I'm saying is that this is this is definitely just doesn't make sense. I mean, it, this is that's what I'm seeing. Of course, there's a lot of structured crap over here, and could be manipulation. I I, I don't know. You guys give me a take on that, of course. But um, and for everybody who's got the tablets and the phones, check this out. Tell me what you think it is. It's too perfect. It looks like something you'd see here on Earth. Now, is it? To me, it is. Now, again, these could be machine pots. These could be anything. And like I said, I don't care if you call them fish bowls for all I care. Martian foot, uh, fish bowls. But they're not rocks. I can almost promise you that. See that? Look at the way this, this thing is just funky to me. It has this, what looks like this tubular thing in the front. 
has a nice sharp edge doing this coming down has these features on here I don't know what these are I had these white rectangular things on it I don't know I I don't know what that is and there's an actual shadow under it look at it you see that actually has a shadow to it so yeah this thing here actually looks like it keeps going all the way across now as opposed to just stopping right here and you can see the uh, the features I showed you earlier. So, let me do this. Back out a little bit. And tell me what you guys think. Again, you can see what looks like these pieces coming across. Coming, There's some things coming down from this piece all the way down into here. Coming up, going like this, going into this piece. I, I don't know. I mean, you can see things here. What it is, you're not going to see anything very clear here at all, but you can see how it actually continues. You can see where it's not bad right here. It's got this white, whatever this crap is, but it actually goes into it. But then you see a bunch of this brown stuff that they're actually covering things. You can see something right here going down. It looks like there's something right there. You can see like a straight line. See it right there? And it goes like this. Whatever the hell these things are, they're in the picture. I can promise you they are. Let me just back out of the whole picture. You guys can get a better idea. Tell me what you guys think this is. I'm going to give you, you know, different... Angles to look at these. And like I said, I mean, I'm just here. These two pieces laying right here. This guy right here. This one here is pretty, pretty wild, too. This piece right here. This one. And there's, again, there's a whole bunch of crap sitting right here. And if you look at the white pieces, that's what you want to find. But what they do is these guys are slick. What they do is they make the white pieces extra contrasted so that you can't see any features in them. You can't see anything. But to me, <laughs> you guys tell me what you guys think this stuff is. Go ahead and just put a filter in there, two filters in it. Tell me what you guys think. There's one. I'll go across these pictures pretty slow. That one doesn't look like... You can see, what I try to do is enhance this for this area, too. That's why these started to look even... They didn't look all that great. But, again, uh, down here. All this... This was... I, I thought this was kind of wild because all of these pieces... Now, let's just assume for a minute. Let me just backtrack. Let's assume for a moment that they are, in fact, some kind of weird vehicles. I'm just throwing them... Uh, if you notice, they all look somewhat the same size. This one. I don't know what this is. I'm, it looks like they try to cover this out, but it looks like the side of one. It looks like it's all banged up or whatever, but let's just suppose that's not. This one up here, it looks like something right there. And whatever this thing is right here, but you guys get the idea. Okay. This one here. Now, these appear to be farther away. This one, and we'll just call it that one for, for argument's sake. This thing right here. And there's tons of stuff to see in this picture, guys. This is just, I'm just scratching the... The, the surface here this one appears to be closest and that's why it's bigger this one looks a little further away so doesn't this one but when you look at these they look like something i they look like vehicles i see here on earth now it could be just a pareidolia playing games this is the reason why i want your take on it guys but to me i don't know i said this is the holy grail and i believe it is i believe it's something more than what was than what we think it is and i'll go back in just by the simple, well, this is the picture here. Doing a slight blur and just a little bit of contrast and brightness. Tell me what you think. Well, let's go like this. These here will be a lot better for people to see. And of course, you guys will get these pictures here. Um, check it out and tell me what you think. Simple rocks. Um... Maybe mechanical parts? Are they are they vehicles? Uh, you guys tell me. Give me your take on it. Uh, share the video. Throw a thumbs up. Always appreciate it. You guys know that. Um, I'm going to back right, way out of here. And there you go. Let me just zoom in just a little bit. Just enough to fill the screen here. And there you go. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I've uh, got some more crazy ones coming up for you guys. Always stay tuned. You guys know that. We're going to have either more moon, 
uh, Pluto ones, the uh, Pluto's moons, uh, Mars, you name it. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have the bunch of them. So stay tuned for that. You guys know that. Um, got some just some crazy ones on deck here, guys. Unbelievable. Uh, the more you look around and the more you uh, just uncover the stuff that's here, always use the burning technique. That's one of the major ones you could possibly use to burn through a lot of the stuff. Two things gonna happen when you try to use the burn tool. Um, you're either gonna it's you're not gonna make much of a difference. Meaning you're gonna let's say it's a rock you're looking at, and you look at the rock and you and you're going over with the burn tool. The only thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna bring out details in that rock. Okay, that's first and foremost. When you see that brown clouded crap, like you see like right. Let me just go ahead and do this. Like this stuff right here, all in this area. This stuff right here, it's like all brownish, all like in here. You can almost bet. Here's a good example. White, 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 boom, line right here, all dark. Why would you suppose it is? There's something's got to be under this dirt, or this wannabe dirt, to be able to do that. So, yeah. Um, that's why I don't believe that. I think there's much more to it than that. Um, you guys tell me. Um, but like I said, two things are going to happen. You're gonna either going to go like this over a rock, and you're going to bring out uh, details. Or you're going to burn away and you're going to see details pop out. You're just going to go, wait a minute, I wasn't even doing it in that direction. All I'm doing is just going back and forth in a horizontal manner. And all of a sudden, I'm seeing these weird vertical lines, different shapes popping out, all kinds of stuff. What does that? Unless it's being overlaid, it's being masked. And that's exactly what they've been doing in these pictures from the day, from day one, from the get-go, including way back in the moon photos, which is long before these Martian photos. Keep that in mind. But... Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it, and I'll see you next pick.